I have been privileged to spend over 40 years of my life diving the world's oceans. Beginning my career as a deep free diver and learning to hold my breath over four minutes. During the 1970s, I became a diving instructor and underwater cameraman, and went on to produce countless films on a huge diversity of marine animals. My lifelong passion has been the protection of marine environments and to stop the outrageous slaughter of marine mammals like seals and whales. Jason now wants to experience the underwater world. I'm keen to teach him to dive, but he will need careful training. But the main thing is I have to teach you to dive properly. You have to be able to breathe underwater. And there are certain rules that you've got to obey. I will not expose my son to unnecessary danger. After careful training, Jason is ready for his first open water scuba dive. He run us into the rocks. This is straight up. When he drives the boat, I'm worried we're gonna die. Jason Island. Okay, nice and quiet, we're just cruising along here, up to where the cuttlefish are. Just up here is a big cave where we find cuttlefish. I'm going to teach Jason how to tame a giant cuttlefish. It's very, very interesting. A new skill for him. And these animals are as big as him, so it's going to be very exciting for a little bloke. And how beautiful is this country, huh? This is Australia, the best place in the world, and a great place to bond with your kid. My main concern is to show Jason animals that can be dangerous, like this scorpion fish. Its spines are highly toxic and can cause painful wounds to divers. Now, I am showing Jason that some animals hide under the sand, like this electric numray. They can panic a diver 
with a powerful electric shock. There are stingrays here too. It is important Jason knows not to swim over their backs. Although normally not aggressive, if frightened, they can deliver a fatal wound. Just ahead is my old mate, Gus de Groper. His favourite treat is the sea urchin, and I have fed him for over 30 years. Jason now gets the chance to pat my old friend. Despite what they say, patting these fish does not harm their skin. This is a marine encounter my son will remember his whole life. Jason is experiencing the beauty of the undersea world. Vibrant coloured soft corals and sponges are a delight to his young eyes. We swim further along the reef and I manage to catch a Port Jackson shark. It is the first shark he has ever seen underwater. These sharks are not aggressive, but I warn Jason to keep his hands away from the crushing jaws. These sharks also have poisonous spines, so care is required handling these bottom-dwelling predators. With proper education and training, Jason is learning how to be safe in the marine environment. We arrive at the cave, and inside is a giant cuttlefish. These highly intelligent mollusks can be territorial and have the ability of giving nasty bites with their sharp beaks. Jason is fascinated by this strange cave monster. But the cuttlefish is displaying its anger at our closeness. He is raising his powerful tentacles and using the pigment cells in his skin to flash waves of colour over his body. Eventually, curiosity brings the giant cuttle from his cave and I take hold of the monster. Normally, he would tear chunks from my arm with his beak in defence.
Jason feels the strange skin on the belly of the cuttlefish. The creature is now relaxed in my hands. Over the years, I have learned how to calm these animals, and now I'm keen to teach Jason this skill. I place his small fingers each side of the huge head. The giant cuttlefish is unafraid. Feeling no threat, he becomes totally passive in the hands of a child. Jason is learning the ways of the natural world. He has become the wildlife boy. That was great! I will continue to teach Jason about the wilderness and its creatures. One day, he may continue the legacy of the wildlife man. Better than scorpions. What was that? Nothing, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>